Good morning. Uh, alternate location. I've got a workstation set up in my living room here to process uh, seed orders and pod tests are a secondary symptom, I guess. <laughs> so, yeah, I've got one here today from John. And it is a fish pepper. You can still see a faint bit of the, of the variegation. It becomes pretty... Uh, unnoticeable once the peppers are fully ripe, but they have a really cool um, stripe to them before they turn. They when they're uh, green, they have like a whitish variegation, tiger stripe type pattern on it. And then when they're partially ripe, they, it'll be like an orangish with, with the red, but then they pretty much turn an indistinguishable red. That may have slight coloration, but usually, yeah. So I'm going to pop the stem off here, carve it open, and see what's going on. This is an annuum variety. Yep, smells like it. don't know how hot they rank. They're not super hot by any means, but we'll see how they are. It's been a while since I had one. Uh, that's what they look like inside. So I'm going to take the seeds and I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. Here's the after shot. All right, so fully ripe fish pepper. Thank you, John. It's a beautiful pepper and it smells like a nice sharp mid-heat annuum. So, let's dive in. Mmm. Super sweet. Very tangy. Very much like a... like a ripe Poblano or Anaheim. But a bit sweeter. I'd put it more sweetness of a bell pepper. A little bit of tingle of heat. Hmm. That has a lovely taste. Got those apple-ish notes that distinguishes most lower heat uh, ripe annuums. Super flavorful, fruity, tart, sweet, and really no bitterness other than a little bit in the skin. They have such a low capsaicin that the flavor of the pepper itself really shines through. Awesome. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. Yeah, that was amazing. I love that one. I still have yet to grow fish peppers. I have this. I've had the seeds from for years now. I think I got. I bought a lot of, of, of peppers, mixed peppers on eBay like two years ago from a really cool seller. And I, that's where I first tried Fatalis was from them, Haponis, uh, the Yellow Bullet Habaneros, and Fish Peppers were on there. I'm trying to remember what other ones there were. I have I had I had like eight, ten new varieties that I tried from them. I think the Zimbabwe Bird Pepper was one of them. And yeah. But yeah, fish pepper. Wow, that's really nice. When they get fully ripe. I don't remember the other one being quite this sweet. The faintest tingle of a burn, though. This is almost no heat at all. So yeah, awesome. I'd highly recommend taking these and uh, you know, julienning a few of them up for a salad. Or uh, top, definitely definitely a stir-fry or, or stew-worthy pepper, to be sure. Really nice pepper flavor, almost no heat, so it'll give you the faintest tingle once it's cooked, but it's not going to add a whole ton of searing uh, burn to it, so yeah. Thank you, John, for that one. That was an awesome one. Can't wait to grow them. I've got a few good seeds out of here, and <coughs> yes, thanks for watching, guys, and hopefully, if you can track down seeds for this variety, I'd recommend growing them because they're really cool variegation on the foliage and on the pepper itself.
and once they're ripe, the flavor is just awesome. So uh, check it out if you can. See you later.